Mm, here we go in November. Alexander the Great, Book 10, uh, Part 6. Keterum, a mild form of but. Uh, Babylone, this is a locative, so but at Babylon in day then. So then, uh, enum for diverted oratio, uh, for the oratio, this was the speech or the thing that was recorded before, uh, diverted, uh, just basically in English it's the same thing, and um, branched off. Uh, corporus eos, which is genitive, uh, followed by the genitive of demonstrative pronoun, the custodes. So this is a uh, the custodians, eos corporis, so these are the guards of his body, his bodyguards in English. In regiam, this is, is sort of uh, his royal hangout. It's not exactly a palace. Um, principes, uh, don't be conf confused by that. It's a um, singular, not a thing. I think he's calling here the um, the leader, Amacorum of his friends, Ducas Quit, and his uh, generals, basically. And the que means and, coparium, this is again genitive of his forces, ad vocavere. So they were called, um, you see this vere is just the shortened version of the NT version. So at Babel, Babylon where he's uh, recording that he's done before, uh, diverted, his bodyguards um, were called into the palace the leader of his friends and leaders of his forces, Advocare were called. Okay, so these bodyguards have called these people in. Circuta est, this means followed, it's the female version. Militum is the genitive, turba, so turba is the female thing. So a crowd followed, Circuta turba, of these soldiers, cupientem, this is present participle, uh, looks genitive as well, so there was a crowd of desiring of soldiers, if you want to put those double genitives together. So, followed a crowd of soldiers who were desiring skire to know. In quem, in with the accusative, so towards, uh, towards whom, you know, I think that's supposed to be a small f, not a, a proper noun. See in whom the fortune of Alexander, Alexander is the genitive, uh, would transature to. Um, Again, these, this crowd of the soldiers decide to know who the fortunes of Alexander would cross over to. Multi duces, they're in a position, nominative plural, many leaders, frequentia, militum, exclusi. So here's our past passive going with multi duces, exclusi, as the S of the um, past passive and the I for plural. So many of the leaders were exclusi, shut out, in the frequentia militum, this is a crowding, uh, if, when these people frequent it, it's, uh, it's basically a crowd of soldiers, they were shut out from these crowd of soldiers. Uh, non portrait they were not able, taking the infinitive, to intrare, to enter into regia. Uh, regia is where the king resides, you know, camp, he'd have his own tent, and otherwise it would be a palace or something like that. Ah, cum preco acceptus, so preco is a herald, it's in the nominative singular, so when a the herald acceptus, we can usually have exceptions, qui nominatum, again it's one of our adverbs in the Tim family, uh, citarento. So this is when you're summoned, uh, citaren by name, okay, adire prohibit. So this com is probably since the praeco, um, since the herald would only make exceptions to those who had been named, um, they were the exception to the rule, because he was prohibiting kept in keeping these other people out adhered, who wanted to go in so many leaders were shut out from this crowding of soldiers they were not able to enter the palace or tent royal place when a uh, herald um, prohibited th those to come in except those who were summoned name by name who were named to come in <coughs> said so but precarium uh, has to do with prayers basically or precarious Spurnabator, that's our passive version, Imperium. So, said, Imperium, but this order was spurned, basically, or this order of a precarious nature, of a doubtful um, origin, was spurned. Okay, so, early daily dictionary, precarious, adjective. Top 20,000 words, there's its uh, 
link to prayers. Um, uh, doubtful was what it was meaning here. Act primum, and we'll go. And the first, yeulitus. This is a wailing or a howling. Ingens. That looks like it goes with that. So in first, there was a huge howling. Uh, Pluratus qui renovatus es, and pluratu. That, that's um, more, more like a cry. Uh, you also get implore and things like that. So it's a a forceful thought of a sort of crying or something. Uh, renovatus. So it was renovated. It was renewed. So huge howling and this uh, crying was renewed. Uh, da inde. So then next. Futuri expectatio, so an expectation of the future. This would be the genitive there. Uh, expectatio is in the third uh, declension. Inhibitus lacrimines. Okay, this is, looks uh, ablative absolute. Silentium fecit. Okay, so then there's expectation of the future. Fecit made the silence. And we have the abs uh, this in its little separate thing. With the tears inhibited. So with the tears stopped or checked, um, the expectation for the future became si they the people became silent. Tunk. So then Perdica, um, in English we call him Perdicus. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Regia Cella. These go together. This is the royal seat, what you would call a throne. Regia Cella. In conspectum. So into sight. Um, data. This is becoming Perdica. Data means he had given this royal seat into conspectum vulgi of the common people. So you can link them together. In which a uh, diadema vestus qui, so a diadem is like a little crown or tiara or whatever you put on your head, I'm pretty sure. And vestus, uh, the vest of Alexander. Uh, this is his clothing, uh, which we believe is a robe. Um, cum armis erant, with the arms. Erant just means they were, so. Um, annulum, which is a ring, sibi pride traditum a reggae. So this is a ring which was tradited, which the ring given literally means the the ring given to him a reggae by the king, uh, sibi to himself, uh, pride, that's a adverb for the day before. In iadem said, um, in the same seat, he posited it, he placed it. So the royal throne was brought into conspectum of the common people in which uh, the diadem and the robe of Alexander with his arms were and the ring which had been given to him the day before by the king were placed there. Quorum aspe expectu, this is a fourth, so in the aspectu, in the sight, quorum of those, rosus again, aborta omnibus lacrima, so aborta lacrima, there arose a crying uh, omnibus to all or from all in Tegravere luctum, and so this means the luctum, the mourning or the grieving, became into grave, became more heavy, more serious again. So it's abortary, abortating, <laughs> I mean rising again. So the tears rose again and the grief become heavier. Et perdica, in perdicus, in quit, he said, ego quidem, I indeed, or even enulum, ring in the accusative. Quo ille regni at qui imperi vires obsignare eret solitus. So which he was accustomed, solitus. This here is meant to be resin according to the load. So for which ille, he, the king, King Alexander, was accustomed, solitus. We see this uh, being agreement with ille. He was accustomed to obsignare. This is to seal with, uh, to seal res with, to seal matters with. Regni of his um, kingdom himself, at qui imperia, and of his power or his empire. Um, traditum handed over ab ipso from himself, mihi, to me. So this ring, which was accustomed to seal of, of uh, the royal things and the matters in, of the empire, it was handed to me from himself. Redo verbis, I return. Uh, Reddo doesn't necessarily mean returning. Uh, you can just be forgiving. I give Vobus. This is the daily form of due, so I'll give this to you. Ketterum, but, quam quam, although, that usually takes the indicative, nulla cladis, uh, no disaster, um, huic, the, the um, demonstrative pranum, which ad fecto sumus, uh, no disaster has affected us, uh, par equal 
Abi Ratus Dias from the Angry Gods. Potest is able, ex cogitari, to be thought up. This is, comes from the infinitive that follows um, possum. Uh, Tama, nevertheless, or still or yet, however you like. Uh, magnitude and am, that's the accusative, the magnitude realm of these matters, quas egget, which he did. This is talking about Alexander, the magnitude of these, um, the, the things that he did, you would say that. Uh, Quidere Lickett uh, is allowed to be believed to those intuentibus watching uh, who saw them. Um, Tantum Verum, such a man, uh, Dios ad comadase rebus humans. So the gods had basically given this man or lent it to uh, rebus humanus, uh, to, to the human matters, to the human condition. The gods have uh, ad comadase to him, they'd lent him there. Quorum of which, sort a by lot completer, or you could say completer, there's just the N in there. So when he had filled up his lot, basically, so we've got the genitive followed by these double ablative. Uh, Cito means quickly, uh, repentarent eum sua sterpe. So the gods had given such a man into these uh, human conditions on loan, and when he had filled up his lot, he would quickly he would re-seek back to his own stirpi, which is his stock or where he came from, um, his original root stock or however you want to see that. Um, is there anything I missed there? don't think so. Pro indi, the adverb, so then, quaniam, sense, nihil aliud, nothing else, ex eo, from him, super est, uh, remains, survives, remains, quam, then, quad, that which, semper, always, ab immortalitate, seduca, uh, separated, seduca is a, a verb, um, ab, and a, and ab, abs, and apps, they just meant, they, they, they um, ablative, so what, what separates always from immortality, basically, corpore nominique, I think this is in the lobe, it has utique, which means especially or at least. Um, quam primum, that means as soon as possible. Justa, according to the law, basically. Solvimus. So we must um, pay out what is just for the body, especially or at least of the body, um, as soon as possible. So this is do the funeral rites of his body. Uh, hoard obliti, and not be forgetful. Again, the I means it's plural, so... Uh, not be forgetful of or forgetting in qua urba, in which city, inter quas simus, and amongst who we are. Um, so don't don't forget which city you are and amongst which people we're in. Quali preside ac regis boliatae. So quali is of what type of preside? This is a leader, ac rege and king. Uh, Spolate has been despoiled, basically, I think. We, Put that easily into English. Mm. Tractandum est. So it must be handled. It's taking the, the S there, so it um, must must be done. Comilion, just looks like it's uh, vocative. Uh, the com again means fellow militones, fellow soldiers. It must be handled. Cogitandum qui, and a thought about. Ut so that victorium partem interhos. Uh, so that uh, partem usually refers to giving birth or um, having been obtained. So that this victory, which is probably obtained amongst these, concerning which part to est, um, obtinere possumus. Okay, so so that this uh, victory born amongst these people, we are able to obtain it, from which um, this lot has already been um, obtained or, or won, basically. Uh, capite. Opusest. So there is a need, an opusest, for a head, uh, for a leader. Okay. Hockine, if you know your plautus, I think there's usually two Cs. Uh, uno and pluribus. Uh, so one or many, in vestra, potestes. So it is in your power for this to be one or another. What have we got here? We've got the lobe as something different. It has hoc nominare. Investra, okay, so all that bit's wiped out. Who knows what the original text was? So, this hoc is in your power to name, to nominate. This is referring to the capite. So, who's going to be the leader? 
Illud skire debitus. So this illud debitus, you ought, takes the infinitive to know. And the tis is the plural form of you. So this you ought to know. A militarium sine duce turbem corpus esse sine spiritu. It's actually used as a question. So a militarium turbem, so this is a, a crowd of soldiers, but they're both in the opposition, so that's how they go together. Uh, so a crowd of soldiers, sine duce, without a leader. Uh, corpus S.A. Sine Spirit is a body without spiritu. If you want to take the religious tone of that, it's a body without spirit. Okay. Mm. Sextus mensis est in quo roxane pregnans est. That's very simple. Sextus mensis is six months, and they count inclusively, so in English it's five months. Uh, in quo, in which roxane, this is our person, pregnans est. Roxanne is pregnant. Uh, that looks like a Nominative present participle, unless there's an adjective that does that. Optamus, so the best thing, ut, best thing is that, ut, initator, she produces or bears a marim, which is usually an adjective for being a male, it could be a um, noun as well. The best thing is that she gives birth to a male, cuis, of which, uh, regnum dis ad probantus futurum, of which a future king, dis ad probantis, is with the, with the gods approving. Uh, that's the ablative absolute section. Uh, quando qui ad old, and uh, when he becomes an adult or grows older. Okay, so the best thing would be if she produces a son of who will have, in the future, will be the king, a king, have the kingdom, if the gods are willing, uh, when he grows older. Interim. Meanwhile, a quibus regi valitus destinate. Okay, by, by which type of man we have here, a quibus, uh, velitus, do you want, taking the infinitive, to be ruled. So, meanwhile, decide by what type of man I'm guessing you want to be ruled, destinate, that looks like an imperative, the plural type. So determine this for yourself, uh, what type of man do you want to be ruled. Haec perdicus, up here, perdica was in quitting, that ended here with these brackets, um, Tum, then, Niarchus, um, Alexandra of Alexander, Modo, only, sanguine and sterpem. So, only the sanguine, the blood and the stirp and the stock um, of Alexander, Regiae Maeste, Convenere, uh, Nemenem, et Posse, Mirate. Okay, so no one, so Niarchus is saying no one, Posse is able to, uh, to convenerate, to come into this uh, regime, this royal power, this royal majesty. He was saying, um, posse mirare means uh, no one is wondering, no one is able to wonder. Eight, he said, um, no one will wonder. Only the blood and the offspring of Alexander is able to come into this royal majesty, basically. Nearly done. Ceterum, but expectare. This looks passive infinitive. But to wait, to expect, a non yet autumn regem, a not yet born king. So, but for, to wait for a not born king, and qui, yam sit, and for, who now already is, pray teary, to pass by. Um, nec animus Macedonium convenere. Uh, convenere can mean to come to, but it also means it's uh, suitable. So, neither is it suitable to the minds of the Macedonians to wait for a king who's not yet born and passed by one who already is, sit, is born. Uh, and nec tempore rerum, neither is a, a matter of time, or neither is there, um, how would we put this? Um, uh, yeah, it's not yet the time I'll do for now. SA, there is, or there was, by bar sign, a filium regis. There was a son of the king by bar sign, who was a daughter of Artabaxus and not the older of Darius's son. And Huic, dative to him, dandum, that's the Geron version, should be given, or his basic says, give the diadem, give the crown, Huic to him. Nulli placabat oratio. So this oration, these words, that he, uh, this speech he gave was placabating, pleasing, nulli, to no one. Itaqui, and so, sue more, according to their custom, has to scoot equatians, present participle, um, with their spears shaking on their ablative scooters, on their shields. So with the spears 
shaking against or banging against the things. Obstreperate perseverabant. Here we go. They were pluraling. They, the, the mass of them persevered to make a din. Obstreperate and yamqui. And now, prope ad sedition perverterant. They had reached almost, prope is almost, to a sedition or to a riot. Uh, Niarco to ente centenium. So Niarco was still holding on to, watching over his uh, sentiment, his opinion, or his viewpoint uh, rather pervacuously. <laughs> How do you put that in English? Um, very headstrong in it, in his belief.